Okay, we're live in three, two, one. Scientists suggest that there are four main models for global warming. We've got the changes in composition of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, increased solar flare activity, cyclic changes in the Earth's orbit, volcanic activity and crude oil. We've got live on a video conference, MP Aslan. Hello MP Aslan, are you there? Thank you very much, Adrian. As usual, us MPs, including myself, MP Azam, have a lot of solutions to this current epidemic that we're facing in the world, which we know as global warming. I can tell you there's nothing to worry about. The first thing we can do is just to have greater efficiency in power stations, make sure all the CO2 that's being produced, if we can't control it, we can make good use of it. We can make sure that it's all being produced for a purpose. We need efficiency. And I will make sure that I will personally go over to every single power plant producer or power plant in the UK and in the world, I will make sure to tell them this. Secondly, we can just replace the use of coal and oil and we can use natural gas which doesn't produce as much greenhouse gases which won't harm the environment. And as usual, I do have a plan for that as well. Finally, not only us, but it's something you can do. All of you can use hybrid vehicles store up your pocket money, break the piggy banks and go out there and buy yourself a hybrid vehicle which doesn't produce these much very toxic gases and doesn't harm the environment. So make sure you have a say in the world you're living in. And finally, if you want more from us, after all that we're doing, we can also have a way to capture the carbon dioxide and make sure it doesn't get released into our beautiful world out there. And if we do that, I'm sure with your help, we can stand up and we can fight against the greenhouse effect. Enthusiasm there on some pressing issues. Yes, thank you, Adrian. Uh, yes, so uh, in the Vostok, there is the ice cores. They provide direct information about how greenhouse gas concentrations have changed in the past. And they also provide direct evidence that the climate can change abruptly under some circumstances. However, they provide no direct analogue for the future because the ice core era contains no periods with concentration of CO2 comparable to those of the next century. Thank you, Thank you Juan Danovic. Now it's Carol for the weather. Carol, are you there? Thank you, Adrian. Well, the outlook is not good for the world this week. Snow cover is decreasing, and this is being caused because of the increase in temperature. This snow cover being decreased, it means that we have a lower albedo, and that means that temperature is also, average temperature is also rising. This average temperature is not good, because that means that we're going to have more water being evaporated uh, and therefore more concentration of CO2 in the air, which, to be honest, means, say your prayers, we're all going to die. That's it. Bad ducks, why Britain loves curry. Thank you, Carol, for that weather update. Until next time, good night.